Well, COVID cases are well off their Omicron peak, but in the last week, cases have plateaued. On Monday, Michigan reported nearly 1,206 new cases of the virus over three days. That's an average of about 420 cases a day, similar to the same time last week. But in some communities, we've actually seen an uptick in cases and in hospitalizations, not just here in Michigan, but across the country. Health leaders are watching the Omicron BA2 variant. It's a more transmissible version than the previous strain, and that is prompting the question, is Michigan ready for the next variant of concern? Well, I checked in with a Michigan critical care nurse about where we are now and Michigan health leaders about our readiness for what comes next. Michigan nurse Alyssa Stokely says it was all hands on deck on her cardiac care unit at Beaumont Trenton when COVID cases were surging. We have a lot of cardiac patients, almost like an ICU step down. Um, but when we got hit with COVID, we kind of turned in one of the COVID units. Well, now the cases are lower. Her unit and many others are settling into a new normal. Stokely says it's time for healthcare workers to reflect and recharge and time for hospital systems to recruit. Because we don't know what, what, what could happen if we're going to get hit with another variant, a big wave, and we want to be prepared for that. We in public health are um, preparing. We're preparing for the next surge. Michigan's chief medical officer, Dr. Natasha Bagdasarian, says we'll definitely see more variants and, in all likelihood, more variants of concern. But unlike before, she says we have vaccines and better medical treatment now, along with high-quality masks for kids and adults. And, of course, over-the-counter tests. And so what we're doing as a state is making sure that we have um, our stockpiles of those materials. And relationship with community partners when they need to be rolled out. Part of that preparation is COVID wastewater surveillance. Across the state, researchers like Wayne State University's Dr. Jeffrey Ram and Dr. William Schuster have been leading teams collecting and sampling wastewater, watching for outbreaks. I caught up with the team in Detroit where they were collecting and testing specimens from a sewer line 20 feet deep below the densely packed streets of Midtown. The signal in wastewater gives uh, a couple of days, maybe even up to two weeks, advance uh, warning. So that gives us some time to get out to our public health authorities, you know, Detroit Health Department, and say, hey, looks like we might have a problem here. So we are putting all of those pieces together and doing what we call horizon scanning. So keeping our eye on not only metrics in the state, but metrics around the country and around the world. So healthcare leaders are preparing for an Omicron BA2 variant or another COVID surge. And while that happens, nurse Alyssa Stokely says she and her fellow Michigan nurses are ready. But she's urging hospital leaders across the area to build up the staff of nurses, nursing assistants and respiratory therapists. As each wave would come, you can you can feel the burnout setting in a little bit. Having the staff, it definitely helps because we really rely on each other. In fact, um, Alyssa, uh, Alyssa and her mother actually work in the same unit, so they really support each other. Now, uh, the preparations that are underway for the next COVID challenge are real, but we won't know how successful they are and all this planning has been until it's been put to the test. In the meantime, uh, Dr. Bagdasarian says at this quiet point during the pandemic, it is time to renew the push to increase vaccine uptake for groups where rates have been low, particularly African Americans and 20 to 30 year olds. So you'll still see these uh, public service campaigns and vaccine campaigns because they're really trying to, as the phrase goes, mm -hmm. make hay when the sun shines. So they're sure. preparing now for what might come next. And to see you in the field as they're literally taking those samples from the wastewater, kind of that part of the, the tools in the tool shed for the horizon scanning, exactly. to see that next wave on the horizon, it is encouraging. Yeah, you know, all that work is still being done. Mm -hmm.